Number 9. Lexi Simon While riding jet skis with her boyfriend on Memorial Day 2020, teenager Lexi Simon suffered a fatal accident. They were out on Michigan's Lake Fenton when the tragic incident occurred. 17-year-old Simon reportedly slowed down her jet ski after noticing that someone had fallen off a water tube near her. Unfortunately, Simon's boyfriend was unable to avoid her in time and crashed his jet ski into hers from behind. The teen was thrown into the water. Her boyfriend immediately jumped in and tried to save her, but it was already too late. Simon has sustained critical injuries and was rushed to a hospital, where she was pronounced dead several hours later. Jet skiing is the activity of riding a personal watercraft, or PWC, which has a configuration similar to that of a motorcycle. While widely used in reference to the majority of PWCs, the name jet ski is actually a trademark of Kawasaki, and it was launched in the 1970s. It would become the first commercially successful personal watercraft in the US. There are two main types of PWCs, defined by the rider's position as the sit-down and stand-up. The first is the most popular variety, with some models seating up to four people, while the stand-up involves a single rider and is mainly used for tricks or racing. Jet skis are powered by an inboard engine connected to a pump jet with a screw-shaped impeller for thrust and steering. The sheer speed that they can generate comes with the risk of severe injury and even death. Number 8. Jordan Lupton 25-year-old Jordan Lupton died in 2017 in a jet ski collision. At the time, he was being towed by the watercraft in a rubber ring. A second passing jet ski, reportedly ridden by one of his friends, then got too close and Jordan sustained fatal injuries in the ensuing crash. The incident gained a lot of attention in the UK, mainly due to Jordan's father, Sean. He was on the run as a suspect in a Securitas depot robbery of roughly $90 million. The incident is known as the largest cash robbery during times of peace in history. Number 7. Luis Lugo and Jorge Mancibo Reyes In July of 2020, a fatal jet skiing accident took place in the waters near a Bronx marina in New York City. Two men who were riding at night crashed directly into each other. They were later identified as Luis Lugo, 48, and 22-year-old Jorge Mancibo Reyes, and both were pronounced dead at the scene. Some attributed the accident to the water sports increasing popularity, but also to the fact that law enforcement boats were patrolling the area less frequently. This meant that certain rules like returning to shore before dark were no longer properly enforced. One jet ski tour operator described the dangers of these watercrafts. He claimed that keeping a safe distance from other riders is critical and that it can take as little as two miles per hour for a jet ski to break someone's leg in a collision. He added that over 30 miles per hour, it becomes a death machine. The internal pump jet of modern PWCs was designed by American Clayton Jacobson II in the early 1960s. He was a motocross enthusiast who, after a minor crash on the racetrack, wondered if there was a way to experience the exhilaration of a motorcycle without the danger of falling to the ground at a high speed. Jacobson quit his job in finance and developed a working prototype. Nowadays, jet skiing can be done all over the world and is among the most popular of all water sports. While mainly performed recreationally or in competitive formats, jet skiing has found application in other fields. Jet ski fishing has risen in popularity in recent years, with a growing number of fishers preferring them to traditional boats. Lifeguards use jet skis in rescue operations, while law enforcement uses them to patrol lakes, rivers, or coastal areas. There are several features that make jet skis a practical solution for water transportation. They don't have external propellers, meaning they're safe for swimmers and marine life, and are also affordable, small, fast, extremely maneuverable, and easy to handle. Number 6. Aya Jones Vogue cover model Aya Jones spent months learning how to walk again after a brutal jet skiing accident. In August of 2016, Jones and her boyfriend were jet skiing off the coast of Koh Phang, Thailand. A speedboat carrying hotel guests crashed into Jones's watercraft, severely injuring her. The French model sustained a cracked skull and fractures to her legs, arms, and pelvis. She was also left with a punctured lung and stomach. Jones's boyfriend rescued her from the water and she was rushed to a hospital for emergency surgery. It took five months for the young woman's bones to become strong enough to support her weight. 
she then had to undergo physical therapy to learn how to walk again. Jones had scars and metal rods in her limbs but eventually returned to the runway. Number 5. Lindsay Malia and Leah Bell In 2017, American students Lindsay Malia from Massachusetts and Louisiana native Leah Bell were in Copenhagen celebrating the end of their spring semester. The two had gone to Denmark as part of a study abroad program. They were on a small boat in Copenhagen Harbor when a reckless jet skier crashed into them. Five other students on the boat were hurt, but Malia and Bell were in critical condition. They both subsequently succumbed to their injuries. The jet ski rider, whose name wasn't released, admitted to losing control of the watercraft. He was sentenced to two years in jail for aggravated manslaughter. In the incident's aftermath, new legislation was passed in Denmark requiring jet ski riders to obtain a proper license. Jet skis can reach speeds of over 65 miles per hour. Colliding with elements of the terrain, man-made structures, boats or other jet skis are significant risks. Falling and hitting the water can result in concussions, damage to the eyes, broken bones as well as damaged joints and ligaments. Hitting the water at high speed or tampering with the output end of a jet ski can result in horrific orifice injuries. High pressure water will wreak havoc on the rider's insides, potentially causing permanent disability or even death. Serious injuries may also occur if the vehicle capsizes when struck by a wave or if the rider loses control while attempting jumps at excessive heights. While rear, an aggressive riding style may also result in spinal cord injuries. Running out of fuel, getting stranded or lost are also potential occurrences if the watercraft is mismanaged and proper safety equipment isn't used. Number 4. Ashley Donnelly While on a family holiday in Marmaris, Turkey, Ashley Donnelly suffered life-altering injuries. The woman had slipped off the back of the jet ski, which was operated by an instructor, and high-pressure water struck her. Her insides were ravaged by the rapid flow. Donnelly was left with a 7 by 4 inch laceration and damage to her bottom, bowels and womb. Her injuries were so horrific that her husband covered her up with a towel so that her 14-year-old son wouldn't see them. She had two emergency procedures and was fitted with a colostomy bag, the first steps on what would be a long road to recovery. Number 3. Becky Helens In July of 2015, British woman Becky Helens had been out on the water for less than a minute before she collided with another jet ski rider. The woman, who was reportedly experienced in the water sport, was thrown off the jet ski and suffered fatal internal injuries after being struck in the chest. An inquest into her death found that she sustained a severed aorta, which caused over four pints of blood to flood her lungs. The injury was deemed incompatible with life. According to her partner, who pulled her out of the water, Helens was making a rasping sound as she struggled to breathe. The other rider, a man in his early 40s, was riding a jet ski for the first time when he crashed into Helens. He was reportedly unaware of the rules, like maintaining distance from other riders, which he should have been following while out on the lake. Today's topic was requested by Instagram follower at Schrotikris. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section or follow us on Instagram and reach out to us there. Jet skiing can be an exhilarating activity if performed under the right conditions and much of that relies on personal responsibility. This means realistically adapting your style and speed to your skill level as well as to the surrounding environment. Familiarize yourself with the terrain and avoid abrupt movements as well as riding too close to boats and structures. It's recommended that you wear proper equipment in the form of a neoprene wetsuit, a life jacket and water goggles. Another aspect to consider when avoiding obstacles is that it takes several yards for a jet ski to come to a full stop. If you feel the watercraft starting to flip, let go of it and try not to tense up as you fall. The jet ski can be easily recovered if it capsizes, but your safety and that of potential passengers should be the top priority. Number 2. Alan Poindexter Retired Space Shuttle astronaut Alan Poindexter was killed by his son in a horrific jet skiing accident. Poindexter was on a stationary jet ski when 26-year-old Zachary lost control of his own jet ski and crashed into him. Also on the watercraft with Poindexter was his other son, Samuel, but he wasn't hurt. The forceful impact violently threw the former astronaut in the water. He was given CPR on the shore of Florida's Pensacola Beach but was later pronounced dead at the hospital. 
The incident took place in the summer of 2012. Only two years prior, in April, Poindexter had commanded the crew of the Discovery Space Shuttle. Throughout his career, he logged 27 days and 21 hours in space. NASA subsequently released a statement expressing their condolences. Before we move on, official They Will Kill You merchandise is now available at theywillkillyou.com. It's out of this world. Number 1. Alejandra Garcia de la Rosa In August of 2020, a runway jet ski careened off the beach at a Mexican resort and crashed into an outdoor restaurant. The unmanned watercraft struck souvenir vendor Alejandra Garcia de la Rosa, killing her instantly. It then hit a pair of tourists who were seated at a table with their backs turned to the beach. Both reported severe injuries and were taken to a hospital. An investigation was subsequently launched into the incident. Thanks for watching. Would you rather try to ride a jet ski up a 50-foot wave or try to surf it? Let us know in the comments section below.